Tonight, a new lawsuit against Washington County, Tennessee schools alleges two Daniel Boone High School students face repeated hazing and sexual abuse and that the school system failed to respond. We first reported on the allegations last fall, which resulted in charges against a football player. News 5's Caleb Perney explains the allegations and the school's response, and we want to warn you that some of what you're about to hear may be disturbing for some viewers. Caleb. The lawsuit filed on behalf of two unnamed students seeks damages for pain and emotional distress and an injunction forcing Washington County Schools to eliminate what it calls a hostile environment at Daniel Boone High School. It alleges the school system was deliberately indifferent to sexual harassment and assault, discriminated based on national origin and religion, and failed to train staff to respond appropriately. It outlines a detailed series of alleged incidents last fall, where the suit claims the two then-freshman football players were repeatedly assaulted by other members of the team. In one instance, the suit alleges a student sat naked from the waist down on one victim's face and attempted to force his genitals into the victim's mouth. It claims the student then offered to spare the alleged abuse for a week if the victim allowed him to strike his testicles with a broom handle. In another instance, the suit claims the student sliced the victim's arm with a switchblade. The other victim, the suit claims, suffered similar alleged abuse, including being pinned down with his pants pulled down while a teammate put on latex gloves and told him he intended to conduct a prostate exam. The suit also alleges one of the victims, who is Muslim and of Middle Eastern descent, was called Osama bin Laden by teammates, and that the teammates held a cloth over his face and poured water on him to simulate waterboarding. It claims some of the alleged incidents were captured on video and uploaded to the social media website TikTok. Talk. The suit alleges the head football coach, who his states was also an assistant principal, should have known and responded because his office shared a wall with the locker room where the alleged incidents took place. The suit claims that even after the victim's parents went to the principal, only one of the alleged harassers were removed from school. It also alleges the coaches allowed the harassment to continue, considering it a rite of passage and culturally accepted behavior season after season. When rumors surfaced last November, school system leaders shared with us this letter to parents, characterizing the behavior as horseplay. It states three students were disciplined. It also states rumors about an assault with a broomstick are false, and allegations that the incident involved a multitude of football players are false. The TBI later charged a student with three counts of aggravated assault, among other charges, after parents contacted police. In response to this lawsuit, school system leaders say they cannot comment, and they are dedicated to providing a safe, secure environment for students. In Washington County, Tennessee, Caleb Burney, News 5, WCYB.